All right. Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, be in Yahweh, and that of His Son, be in Yahweh Shai. The only names of which salvation could be obtained, whether you could receive it or not. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai rule all of the nation of Israel well today. Once again, whether you could receive that or not, and peace, love, blessings, and salutations be unto the elect of the house of Israel who are pushing this truth in truth and sincerity and in charity and in faith and who are able to receive these things that are needful for salvation. All right, and we're going to go ahead and jump into Isaiah, the 40th chapter in verse 3. It says, The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, and prepare ye the way of Yahweh, make straight in the desert a highway for our power. Okay, and what it's talking about, or what, what Isaiah was prophesying of, was the coming of John the Baptist. And that's what you see here in Luke 3 and uh, 4. All right, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Yahweh and make his path straight. All right, so that, that, that what's being said here in Isaiah, all right, is the prophecies concerning John the Baptist. Yahweh Shai in the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and dive, uh, you know, get further into it. But uh, let me go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna jump up to verse two. It says, "Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her inequity is pardoned." You see that, man? So what we're what we're approaching is the spectacular deliverance. Of the nation of Israel, man, who according to these scriptures, let's go ahead and get it. I believe I have a bookmarked here. Come on. Ezekiel 36 and 19, and I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. So you see these Israelites have been scattered throughout all nations, man. All right, and the majority of which winding up here in the Americas, okay? But with that being said, verse 2, Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Okay, the, the, the judgment, all right, as we just read, according to their inequities, did I judge them? That judgment is, is being, is being com, uh, completed, man. It says, their inequity is pardoned, all right, it's meaning forgiven, and that's why Yahweh Shai was sent. Yahweh Shai was sent to cover the sins of the elect, all right? To be, basically be that lamb for the sins of the elect. It says, for she hath received of, Yah of Yahweh's hand double for all her sins, all right? And then going on verse, verse three, it says, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Yahweh, make straight the desert highway for our power, right? Because Yahweh Shai was sent, like I said, man, in order to connect us back to Yahweh, to Yahweh, man. Okay, that's why we say Yahweh Bahashim and Yahweh Shai, because Bahashim means in the name Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. All right. He 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 basically set forth the stepping stone, so to speak, to the kingdom, man. All right, verse four, and that's what John the Baptist was doing. He was going out and and causing. Israel to repent, man. And the word repent means to turn back. So we went off according to our inequities. And now it's time to return to the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? And, and you know, that basically was, was his message. And that's why you were having Israelites be baptized. All right? Which, which simply means, you know, coming back into this truth. But oftentimes they would have an actual water baptism, which would represent your sins being washed. All right? You basically coming into life as a new man. All right, which is something that you can do without water. Because anybody could take a shower, it doesn't mean they're a new man. Okay? It doesn't mean that you're, you know, you, you, you've, you've repented. But anyway, going on verse 4, it says, Every valley shall be exalted. Okay? Now, let me, let me finish this up and I'll grab another precept. It says, And every mountain and hill shall be made low. Okay? So let's concentrate on this first piece. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low. Let's go ahead. It reminds me of uh, the book of Revelation here. This is Revelation 2 and 9. It reads, I know thy works and thy tribulation and thy poverty, but thou art rich. So you see that, man? 
I know thy works and thy tribulation and thy poverty, but, but, but we're rich, being the Israelites, okay? And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but be the synagogue of Satan, because who, who he's speaking to in the first half of this verse are the true Israelites, man. Okay, that, that, you know, though they sit in a low place, you know, they're, they're, they're the rich, man. The world was created for the sakes of the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, for the 12 tribes of Israel, man, who have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, and who might be looking and acting in certain heathenistic ways and lifestyles, but the elect are going to be called out of those ways, man. They're going to be, they're going to return to the Heavenly Father, man, and they're going to be exalted, you see? They're, they're, they're likened in that belly that we just read about in, uh the book of Isaiah, but yet they're going to be, they're going to be exalted, man. Just like revelation just said, all right. I know thy works and thy tribulations and thy poverty, but thou art rich, man. We're going to be elevated. Okay. Everything that you see before you, man, is upside down. The world isn't supposed to be, uh, uh, the way that it is today. Okay. Everything's been turned upside down and those that are on top actually belong on bottom, man. It's not only everything, but everyone as well. Okay. Esau belongs on bottom, and the Israelites belong in their proper place, which is on top, okay? Uh, so since Esau has, during his time and power, managed to turn everything upside down, all right? And since, you know, everything, everything is upside down, folly is, uh, is looked at as something great, man. Righteousness is looked at as something, something low and wicked. And wickedness is looked as something as righteous and uh, and glorified. Okay? Let me go ahead and jump to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, lucky, chapter 10, and verse 6. It reads, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place. Once again, what is that valley? If you look at, if you look at, you know, the, the, the geography or the landscape of, you know, the mountains, then what you have is you as if you, is you have your mountains, which, you know, you'll have your highest points and then you'll have your lowest points, which are the valleys. Okay. Well, those, the, the, the those valleys, as we read, are going to be elevated, man. Okay. Which is likened unto the uh, poor here. Okay. The rich sit in a low place. Would, would a low place not be a valley? You see, but the rich are going to be uplifted along with that valley, man. And those mountains, the wicked that that are in power, okay, are 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 being set low, man. And this all began, this all began in the spirit when Yahweh Shai came on the scene. Israel knew that it was time for our deliverance, man. That's why when you go to the book of Acts, or, or really throughout many many times throughout the New Testament, you had Israelites asking Yahweh Shai, you know, if if the kingdom was going to be right then and there. Because they knew that him arise, or arriving on the scene, according to the prophecies, marked the end of the wicked's reign, man. Which at that time was the Romans, you see. The book of Revelations, man, is, is a very, for lack of better words, uh, a political book, man. And the reason why is because, you know, if, if, if you look at it closely, it's, it's very evident that the Roman government is being condemned within the book of Revelation, man. But what the world also doesn't realize is, you know, it goes further and condemns, you know, America. You know, it condemns, it condemns, you know, the governments or the powers that are that will be at B until the time of Yahweh Shai comes, man. Okay, and especially America, because America is the, you know, that 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 most wicked. Of course, if the greatest victory is going to happen, man, you have to have the greatest enemy. Okay, you have to have, as it is written, folly is set in great dignity, man. It's only going to continue to get worse until the time of our deliverance comes, man. Okay, everything wicked is set on high, man. The, the, the people that are low naturally are set on high. Okay, let's go ahead and go to um, please, uh, Salakia, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 5 and 20, it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, and put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You see that, man? That's exactly everything. Once again, man, it couldn't be reiterated enough. Everything is upside down, man. All right, the people are upside down, but it's going to be turned right side up, man. Beginning when you have a shy walked on the scene, like I said. All right, let's go ahead and jump. 
uh, to the book of Isaiah again. I believe it's 29 and 16, if I'm not mistaken. Con, surely you're turning of things upside down. Okay, so someone's turned everything upside down. Shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, or shall the work say unto him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing for, framed say to him that framed it, he had no understanding? So meaning, the Heavenly Father created and framed everything, man. But you see, Esau tries to elevate himself above the Most High. You see, the wicked that are in power today, all right, which, you know, was Esau, Edom, the, the, the so-called Caucasoid, the so-called white man, all right, and, and specifically their elites, man, all right, the, 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 those elite families, man, those bankers, those guys that own everything, known as the Illuminati, known as the elites, all right, whatever it is that you refer to them as, all right, <laughs> their, their time to be judged is here, man. And we know that according to these prophecies, man. You see what, what's going on with Iran, man. That's something that we've been saying through the, the, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai has given utterance, all right, regarding the prophecies of that, man. This has been being said for, 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 for many years, man. You see, but everybody wants to brush past that and just say, oh, man, let's go, look what's going on with Iran, man. You, you've been warned about this. This shows you how close we are, man. This shows you how close Esau is to his end. All right, this devil's through, man. Okay, but as, as as you've seen, all right, they've turned everything upside down, man. Okay, let me go ahead and grab, uh, hit Job real quick. Let's lock you. This is Job chapter 9 and verse 24. And it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, what did it say? Surely that thy turning of things upside down. So the wicked are in control and they've turned everything upside down. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, the true judges, which are us, the Israelites. All right, they've covered our faces, man. They, they painted their faces over ours. If not, where and who is he? So if it's not the so-called white man, all right, begin with their elites, then who is it, man? Who is it? All right, let's go ahead and jump back now to Isaiah 40 and 4 and just pick up where we left off. It reads, every... Valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight. You see that, man? Everything that's been made crooked by Esau, Edom, is being made straight, man. All right? Beginning when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, man. And true knowledge and, and, and the truth, all right, being uh, uh, was, was told, man. All right? But yet, you know, then you have the prophecies that that would be lost. For a certain time, but then it would come back in the last days, man. And that's 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 why you see, as it is written, uh, uh, the truth that hath been so long without fruit shall shall flourish. Okay, and that's what you're seeing, man. The truth is being spread. The valley of dry bones are are getting flesh put upon them, man. Life is returning under the Israelites, man. We're starting to understand and know who we are, man. You see that th this this shows you also what time it is, man. That Esau's time is through. It says. And the rough place is plain. You see that? So everything is being made smoothed out, man. Everything's being made perfected. Begin with the, begin with the Israelites, man. You see, when the Israelites are perfected, all right, the rest of the world will fall into its proper order. You see, when the Most High created all things, what did he say? And it is finished. Esau has turned everything upside down, man. So it has to be smoothed back out, and it's going to be done so with ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right, but the elect are right now being purified, being made pure. Okay, and upon upon that completion, man, the whole the whole earth is going to be cleansed. Okay, and the glory of Yahweh shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of Yahweh hath spoken it. So you might as well count it done, man. When Yahweh says that 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 it's been said, or that He said it, man, it's, it, you might as well count it done. He's not a man that He should lie. You see, so we know what's coming, man. All right? The, the, the turning of things upside down are being turned back right side up, man. Okay? Because the creator who formed it all is putting it back in its proper place. Okay? But with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. 
Say call all you how about shim yow shy about dash double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Grant Millstone and peace, love, blessings, and salutations unto the elect of the house of Israel who are pushing this truth in truth and sincerity and in charity and in faith. Shalom.